All right, I just wanted to show people what the, or how, or whatever, as to where the screws are on this thing. Well, if you have a broken Vizio television, just take it, flip it on its, you know, flip the screen and lay it on something soft like a blanket or bed or whatever, and uh, just look up for every little screw you can and take them all out. Every single one. There's some rivets. Don't worry about those, but just, you know, all around the edge. And in the back of here, everywhere. Not just around the edge, but everywhere. You see little screws. Take them all out. Every single one. And then, underneath, where the speakers are, there's some more holes. And take those out. But once you have all the screws out, this will be able to move freely. But then behind or underneath where the speakers were, there's some more screws. You need to take those out because that's what holds this whole thing on. I had a hell of a time trying to figure it out. I was bet I could get the top part bent back. But uh, underneath there was those, oh, I'm guessing about eight screws, maybe nine, ten, whatever, that was holding this on. But you have to remove every screw you see. Any place you can find a screw, take it out. Except on the jacks themselves where the input is. Like the power jack, don't worry about those. And over here, you know. But, you know, just remove every screw you can and it should come off the back cover. And it's pretty easy to get. The rest is, you know. It just folds back, and that's it. <clears throat> but if you're having problems, like I said before, the middle board on the Vizio television inside is a power supply board. Look for the capacitors. That's a capacitor. These are capacitors. That's a capacitor. All these little tiny things here. Look with little batteries or for capacitors. If the tops of them are domed out or pushed out, not flat, but domed, that means they're bad. That means they have swelled up and they're leaking. <clears throat> these here are flat, but I'll probably replace them anyways. They're so cheap, but if you do order them, I recommend Mauser.com, M-O-U-S-E-R, like a mouse, Mauser.com, and uh, don't just order one, order ten of each, you know, they're cheap enough, they're like 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 cents, get a whole bunch of them, you know, give them the business. Why should you order five five things that cost 20 cents? That's just stupid. So go ahead and buy a bunch. Get 10 of each. <clears throat> you know, they're cheap. You're going to you're going to pay $10 for shipping anyway, so you might as well spend your money and, you know, get enough to last for a while in case you have to fix it in the future or maybe you have a friend that has one, you know has a Vizio television, maybe you know somebody that has one, you can say, hey man, I can fix your TV. Offer them how to, you know, offer some advice on how to fix it. They'd appreciate it, you know. But it's always nice to have extra parts. Like I said before, this is the uh, tuner video circuit board. And then, the, you know, power supply. And I couldn't really tell you what the hell this board is, though. <laughs> I think it might be video, too. The HD board or whatever, high definition. But I do know this is a... Uh, this board here, this is E power supply. If this goes bad, your TV does not work. And over time, these things get hot. You know, you leave a TV on, 
They get hot, the circuits get hot, and they swell up and they wear out. It's like a car engine. If you leave your car running all the time, if you left it running all day long, eventually it would blow up. <clears throat> now, you know, circuits like these do, even if you don't have your television on, they still have power going through them. <clears throat> so, you know, they go bad. And they make them to go bad. They don't want you to have a TV that lasts 10 years or 20 years. They could do it. They could use high quality components. You know, and parts and all that stuff. And they can make them to last, but they don't want to. They want your TV to last longer, you know, a little longer than the you know, warranty period. And once that warranty period goes up, you're screwed. And then you're stuck with a broken television. And you can send it to them and have them fix it, which they probably charge you like $100 an hour. By the time you pay for everything, you're looking at, you know, amount of money you could have bought, a t you know, another television. So, people get discouraged and say, screw it, and go buy another TV. So, <coughs> excuse me. But that's what happens. That's what happens with cars and electronics and just about anything else you buy in life these days. Nothing is made to last. They know it's not going to last, but they make things just, you know, good enough to last a couple years or a year or whatever. <clears throat> this TV is only two years old. That's it. If that. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. I'm going to take this board out. There's only like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. And, uh, three sockets, you, you know, three harnesses you pull out, one plug. Pull it out, get your desoldering iron out, and, uh, desolder the back of the board. You know, get your the proper capacitor parts, you know. Uh, values you need and desolder them, pull out the capacitors, put the new one in, solder it up. You know, it's not hard, and you save yourself a lot of money. Who wants to buy another television? But, uh, okay, that's it for now. Well, it's hooked up, I put the parts in. Let's give it a try. Hey, I heard something click. That works. That's it. Capacitors, and it works. 